As promised, here is the wiring diagram. From the top left, we have the solar panel. The power goes directly into the charge controller, regulating the power going to the battery. Also making sure that power does not leave the battery towards the solar panel. And from the battery, we then power the timer, which then in turn will power the pump. And as you can see, the neutral wire is combined between the charge controller, the timer, and the pump. Here's a solar panel installed. As you can see, I have it on a bracket. The bracket is adjustable, and it can be mounted on either a flat wall surface or a pole. The reason why I got an adjustable bracket was so I can adjust it in the summer and in the, in the winter seasons so that I can be perfectly perpendicular to the sun. I also have it facing exactly south. Before showing everything working, I wanted to point out a few things. When I ordered the pump, it came with a, a female DC connection on one end, and I wasn't sure how to connect that to the circuit without cutting and splicing the wire. I really didn't want to do that. And what I found was this 2.1 DC adapter with a terminal end, and you can just strip the wires and put them into the terminal ends and then tighten it with a screwdriver. In order to connect the rest of the circuit together, I had to use these terminal ends, and what I'd have to do is strip the wire and put these on and crimp them using a, a wire stripper and crimper like this. These little pieces allow you to connect your wire to the terminal connection pieces on on the timer switch in the battery etc